Okay, so here is the final coat of the cake. As you can see, it's very smooth on both the top and the sides. What I like to do is put it in the freezer once it's done, so that way you know that it's solid and you can start your decorating with no problem. I'm going to demonstrate you some borders that I like to do. The most common border is a regular shell border. You simply squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull. Squeeze, pull. Squeeze, pull. After doing it so much, you get used to it. Some people like to squeeze and go upwards. You can do whatever floats your boat. You can see the difference in that. Has more of a wave effect to it. The next border I love so much is the reverse C border that I like to do. It's basically a regular C, a backward C. Regular C, backward C. You basically C, drag, backward C, drag, C, backward C. And then you keep doing that along the line. You can do it long, short, however you like it. Now we're going to start icing the cake. I'm thinking about using the reverse C because, like I said, that's my favorite border to use.